What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy shiny hunting exploit location for Duraludon, and so you can evolve that Duraludon into a shiny Archidon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC. This is an incredible 15 spawn reset as well, which is great stuff for us and of course guys if you like my type of content enjoy these videos please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it consider supporting the channel by joining the pan fam by hitting that join channel member button below to begin this shiny hunt we are going to be starting off in the central plaza and we're actually going to be going over to the polar biodome and our location is actually going to be right over here on the edge of the biodome and we're just gonna head on over there. Now, Duraludon does spawn only in the Polar Biodome, to my knowledge, however, not in the entire Biodome in general. So you're not gonna really see it near the water. You're gonna see a bunch of different Pokemon spawning, as you can see here. But you're not gonna really see Duraludons. You're gonna start seeing Duraludons when you actually head up into the mountain here, but the mountain doesn't have too many great reset spots, but luckily this spot that we got does give us the 15 run uh, spawn uh, reset. Now, something that is very important to on is the only dragon that spawns out here. So if you just don't wanna do a reset and you just wanna run around, you can do a run around. It is a complete isolate shiny hunt if you do just run around up in the mountain top area. And shiny Drowdon is actually pretty obvious to see. So you could do this as a very easy round, uh, run around hunt if you don't want to do a picnic reset. But the picnic reset is definitely going to be more efficient for your time. And time is money to me. So we're just going to go ahead and go to the 15 spawn reset. So we're going to keep on going until we get to the very edge of the map here. And you could have taken the fly point as well. But I just wanted to show you guys the run around method as well. Because it's honestly, it's really good. It is really good. And I don't blame you if you want to take it instead of you know, doing the uh, picnic reset because this is incredibly good. So we're just going to keep on going. And of course, if you're in the post game, you can actually just straight up fly as well. It's pretty nice. It does make traveling to all these different spawns a lot easier. And technically, you can shiny hunt like that too by flying around the map and just looking at the spawns. But unfortunately, we don't get overworld uh, shiny noises and all that. So we're in the area we need to be. And there's always a grand bull here that spawns. And we're going to knock out this grand bull. And what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our dragon type sandwich. But you can see that we are getting a crap ton of spawns here, making this really awesome to do a 15 spawn reset. So I'm going to go all the way to the edge over here. And yes, Duraldons are pretty aggressive, and I got snuck up on one right here. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this hunt. These guys are pretty aggressive. They'll try to get in your way and bother you a lot. So what you want to do is get over to this corner right here, and we're going to hit the picnic button now. So now we got our picnic going, you can do a level three dragon type sandwich or just at least an encounter type sandwich for dragon type Pokemon, you'll be good to go. Of course, we're gonna be using Urban Mystica and shortcut methods to make this as easy as possible to get the encounter power, to get the uh, tidal power and the sparkling powder level three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using one avocado, we're gonna be using one salty Urban Mystica and then one spicy Urban Mystica. And with that recipe, we're going to be getting all the good stuff. You can follow the recipe on the screen as well to get all the things you need for your shiny Duraludons to potentially spawn. And there we have it, Sparkling Tidal and Counter Power Level 3 for Dragon-type Pokemon, and we are ready to begin this hunt. So now we're just going to Picnic Reset and look for our shiny Duraludon. And the shiny Duraludon, its color is going to be pretty obvious. And even with this lighting here, you're going to be able to tell that the alloy color is going to be a different shade. You can see the image on the screen here. It's gonna show you different colors, but also you can look for the tip of the uh, Duraludons. So you notice how they have these red tips on top? Well, those red tips are gonna be silver on the shiny. So that's another one. So you can just look for the tips. But if you don't see your shiny, just go back and do that picnic reset. You get your 15 spawns pretty fast and easy. I wish they were a little bit closer, but I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit hard to get a 15 spawn reset on the mountainside area in general. So I'm really happy that we were able to find this and we're just gonna keep on doing this. And of course you can go into first person mode if you have any difficulty looking all the way in the back. Uh, but honestly, I think it's relatively easy to see the body on a shiny Duraludon versus a non shiny. And within five minutes, we got our shiny Duraludon. You can see it's pretty obvious. It's like a darker gray. It is more blue and it's silver. And there we go. Shiny Duraludon, here we go. We're getting attacked by all the boys though. We are just absolutely surrounded here. Uh, 
definitely recommend having a fall swiper like Gallade, something to like put it to sleep or thunder wave it or something like that, just to make this process as easy as possible because it is not an easy capture, that is for sure. It's not as hard as Belladum, but it can be rather difficult. And there we go, we got ourselves our shiny Duraludon. But now, how do we evolve our shiny Duraludon into a shiny Archlodon? Let's get to that next. Now, to evolve your Duraludon into an Archlodon, there are many ways to get this item, but you're going to need to get the evolutionary, essentially a stone, a metal alloy to evolve the Duraludon. So you can find it in the terrarium as a random uh, item that spawns like any of the stones you would normally find. But if you're not having any luck with that, you can go to the school store. And in the school store, you can spend about 300 BP for the evolutionary item. Very simple, just walk over to the cashier here and just scroll all the way down. You can actually get a bunch of other cool items here too, but if you need the metal alloy, it is 300 BP, which is definitely a considerable amount for sure. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You can find it out in the wild. I just haven't had any personal luck with the random item spawns. But once you have that, all you gotta do now is just go over to your inventory and it should be right uh, right there and just use it and there you go and be able to evolve our shiny Duraludon into a shiny Archidon just like that fairly fast and simple you can do this at the very beginning of the game too and this shiny is absolutely cracked so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like subscribe if you're new I really appreciate it we're gonna be making more easy shiny hunting exploit videos for every single Pokemon in the Indigo Disc and other Pokemon guides and other gaming content as well. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Peace out. <laughs>